Hello, my name is John Graves and I was going to have a quick video showing off this um, concept of monitoring some MFT applications with OIC. As I said in the blog, we have <coughs> a situation where uh, we have an MFT system that is able to monitor a single flow of a file from point A to point B. Uh, but if there's multiples of these file transfers along with other steps, um, how can we monitor in a single kind of dashboard? Um, so I started researching potential ways of doing this uh, using OIC. And as I said before, I wanted to take it so that the MFT data that has kind of these three steps that a file was received, um, a file is ready to be delivered, it's finished and processed with success or failure, and then response would happen as well. How to get these into Integration Cloud, and specifically the integration piece of OIC, and then send it to various different places like Insight, Process, and Visual Builder. So the first thing was to set up these um, hooks into MFT. And um, on the blog, I talk about the GitHub repository to do that. Let me just bring up the um, MFT console to show you what it kind of looks like. When you have a particular source, you can set up now with this, this source a, um, a processing action. If I take a look at this example, I have uh, OIC notify that takes two parameters, this action parameter and description. I use this to kind of switch so that the MFT can control what uh, what's going on. This particular one is dealing with a payment file. I gave two examples of some custom hooks into MFT. One is OIC notify and this one is all configured in a config file on the file system to know where your OIC instance and how to hook into it and credentials and so forth. There's another one here that I have uh, created called REST Notify. And this one's a more generic one. So this one you can give it any URL and basic um, credentials and some actions and it will call a REST service with a post with the data that's appropriate for that step inside of here. So that's on this source for the source pre. And then when you have a transfer itself and I've got some samples here pretending to um, send data from an EBS system and a CRIS-21 system. We've got things like uh, PGP encryption and things, but also a notify uh, for for trans for target pre and for post. So this is after the, um, the system has been, or the transfer is completed. So those three together make up, when we're looking at this diagram, uh, these three steps here. And of course, it corresponds to the same going the opposite direction. So every time a file is transferred, three calls are made into OIC. If I show you OIC here and go specifically into the integrations, I have a three integrations uh, defined here. Uh, one for process for the source pre, that's that first step that says there's a file that arrived. The uh, target pre, that's the one that looks at the target and reports on all the information about that target, uh, whatever it might be, it might be a file or a FTP site. And then the target post, this is after a file transfer is completed. So those three together uh, make up that scenario. And then there's also this uh, MFT error queue monitor. There's a, a queue within MFT that errors are reported to and I, I capture those and send them along with the same process. So once the data is brought into um, Oh, I see the integration. I can then send it to various places, uh, process, insight, and visual builder. So in process, I created a, uh, a new process. If I go back into um, integration cloud and go to process, I created a process that uh, receives a data for just a uh, file received. This is the pre, the source pre, and I created a real simple interface for it. It just accepts a business identifier and a file name, file size. 
uh, once that's received then I have uh, five other steps that it listens for along the way uh, the file the destinations ready and then the it's been processed and then the response file so this could be any flow that uh, is monitoring different files I just have this as an example uh, in this case the initial one has a correlation uh, for that business identifier in the initialized stage and the rest are using the uh, correlation that is a correlate or a continuation on the same business identifier so that it knows which instance of the process to run as the file uh, moves through the system and the response file or any number that we'd want to do. I also uh, just kick off this parallel a timer that says hey this whole process should take a certain amount of time and if it doesn't go ahead and notify somebody and I'm also listening for exceptions through that MFT error queue and reporting that error uh, along the way as well. Pretty simple flow uh, these tasks in here are just calling into Insight to uh, make some dashboards there. And then I also send myself an email notification when the system completes. I probably should add that to my error exception handling. So this process was uh, created so that the data uh, goes here. And if I look back, this is all called within the integration cloud uh, piece for integration. Each of these flows calls uh, calls that. If I glance inside of one of these, it's pretty simple flow. Uh, comes in, does some logging. It figures out the correlation ID based on the file name, and then based on what kind of action it is. It's a a file going from A to B or the response file. I do some things, and here's the start process uh, in the two cases for the source. Uh, so for the initial file and for the response file, it handles those two. This one starts the process. This one continues the process. Uh, the other two are uh, almost identical, just uh, dealing with different file formats. So that gets it into Process Cloud. And then uh, for Insight, I do a couple of things. One is I use this mapping uh, to Insight here, where I was able to pick a particular point within my integration process and map it to the different milestones within the um, insight. So I've got this insight here. I just map these uh, targets here and then once I have it mapped I can go in and set up my measures and, and define what fields I want and the unique identifier for each one this correlation ID so that all of the insight also gets it. So this gets us into insight one way and then if I look back at my process cloud, that's uh, also using just a REST service to uh, call into Insight. So I just basically configured a integration here that calls the APIs for Insight. As you can see here. All right, so the other thing is um, I'm also sending the events to Visual Builder. So if I bring up uh, my Visual Builder uh, environment, <clears throat> what I did is create some business objects here uh, to capture all the data. And if I look at the uh, diagram, it is a uh, payment process that's dealing with a couple different file transfers, a file transfer and response that has these three source target transfer. So those three right there match with the same data that comes from MFT. So it comes into OIC and then it ends up going into three different destinations, uh, Insight, Process, and Visual Builder. And then I have forms here because uh, Visual Builder, or excuse me, Process can do some things with the data and do approval processes and things like that. So if I send a, a bit of data, uh, I'll just go into another screen here and uh, kick off a file that will um, be running here. And its identifier is 151. So we'll be able to take a look at that if I go into 
some of my um, tabs for integration. Let me go back to my integration, go my monitor, monitoring integrations. Uh, we can see that uh, one just got sent in. It's uh, in the process uh, to target source pre. Do one more. I should see this one finishing. So that's all, all complete. And if I go into one of these, uh, let me go back and go into um, the source. I showed you the diagram before. This is what it looks like. And if I go to a particular instance of that, we'll be able to see that it took the first path here and did all the processing, sent it to Visual Builder and sent it to Process Cloud. And then the mapping automatically went to Insight. Close that. So this is how it's getting into uh, integration cloud. If I go over to, if I create it, uh, bring up a new window and go to my workspace, we'll be able to see um, I've got several things in here. A warning that there's a delayed process. I have this is my timer. If I go to the processes themselves, I can see that that 151 instance has just started here. I can click on it and I can see the graphical view of uh, the fact that it did the first three steps and then it's waiting for the response file. If I send the response file uh, with the corresponding correlation ID, just sent that in. Uh, now if I do a refresh here, just take a couple of seconds, we should start to see this response file. We'll also see it here. I think I said the wrong one, uh, 2058. Let me send the correct code. All right, I sent the right file this time. So I just kicked off a different one. So here's 151. We'll watch this one to see if it changes here. Second one here, it's a transfer stage. Now it's got response received. Response ready. And then ultimately it completes. Um, I have one thing, I, I've just got it right now set into. Uh, so that's complete. Now if I went to take a look also at the insight and see how, how that looks, if I go back and take a look at that. So inside of, I'm going to create a new tab here. Inside of Insight. Real basic things that I set up here uh, that just have different milestones and these are the same milestones as the six steps as defined before as well as a couple error cases a unique identifier in a couple of dimensions I'm listening for. I take a look at the dashboard that it created here. We can see uh, quite a few things have been processed. If I look at one that has completed, it'll show me just the, the couple that were completed and I can see the, the one I was doing, which is 151. And I can get a timeline on the, fi the pile, file ride, it's ready, etc., ready for transfer, and the, uh, the two files that uh, start and uh, complete. So getting the data into Insight was pretty straightforward and gives me a lot of additional uh, visibility into what's going on in my processes. So I've got the process uh, cloud and, and Insight. And the last thing is just being able to see the um, visual builder and inside of here, I just have a an app that monitors the data that comes in. I think I might have the dates uh, where the bottom is the most recent here. So if we go to the bottom and look at uh, 151, that's the one I just finished. We can see it's uh, green, it completed, um, and that would be uh, should be on six. I have to check that. Uh, I did all the steps and I can look in details of each piece within those steps.
that was successful on the re the file that went one way and the response file was also successful when there is an exception I can take a look at that and see the error that might have happened for an exception case I can also do some basic filtering and if I want to just look at maybe um, only active uh, ones that are currently being being worked on um, here These are the ones that are currently uh, waiting responses and things like that. And I can go in and, and get a little more detail about uh, what the file information is, etc. So this was a, um, a dashboard built just on top of the data model in Visual Builder. Just want to give you a feel for the things that can be done within Integration Cloud after the data gets in there, not just to be able to um, do the integration and get the data flowing, but then within Insight, Process, and Visual Builder, be able to have some really nice management consoles to be able to see what's going on. So this is one way to do it if uh, you already have MFT and want to add some hooks in that, or if you're using Integration Cloud to do some file transfers, you could do very, something very similar in that uh, those file transfers could report the data information into Process, Insight, Visual Builder kinds of things to get a, a better feel for what's going on so you don't have to go to the integration uh, console to see a particular file transfer you can have better dashboards so that was uh, the demo I wanted to show and I hope this is helpful I'll make all the source available if anybody wants to give it a go thanks